I got three confused people to introduce to you. Hashfield, Gwenny and Dora, you're going here, who is who? When Hashfield views and Dora, Gwenny shop she mountain too. I must be something in the village, bear dumplings in the stew. Gwenny, you got that little ginger tea for me? Girl, today I feel too sick. Who are you? What happened, Dora? The giddy head got you again? It ain't that. I feel sicky, sicky. And every now and then, I get a little stabbing like in the back part of my head. Must be the pressure. Dying the pressure, Dora. I was one of the women's get a stick in your finger on me something. I only hope you ain't too sicky, sicky to get something for me to eat today, yeah? Huh? Well, look at what my sister come to me. Hush, feed boom. What the hell you think I'm is? The slave day's done, let me tell you. Hey, hey. My sister feels sick as a dog at the first thing you could take about his guts. Let's know you all musty play us all advantage, Stecker. Advantage, Stecker, what? Women all was sick. If they ain't got the giddy head, they got bad feels. And when they ain't complaining about arthritis and his blood pressure or gas or some blasted thing. And this time not wanting and do them, you know. Nobody among you hush feel broom, a big musty a man like you can't have a heart, just the same. I miss men like you women's like me should got to deal with. What do you think a woman is a mule? Meant to walk for you? Gwenny, don't make the noise. I'm only trying to catch myself a little bit before I get set to put on the pot. But that's all foolish! Dora, you mean to tell me you feel sick? God's stabbing in your head, and you gonna get up to cook food for this old waffle so-and-so? You really want the Lord? Make the man do for yourself! Don't kill yourself for nothing like he! Look at Gwenny Rice, you don't get in my business. He's a funny, funny man here. Me and Dora does all stand one another very good. And I ain't wanting to be rich old hag like you to get advice to my wife. Watch him out here. Yeah, and if I don't watch it, what happen? You play you bad. But I tell you already, don't mess with me, yeah. I is one woman about here that don't believe women's meant to work for men's. And I ain't got to hold a sister neither. So if you don't like it, they ain't got one frops to do with me. Gwenny, don't fall up, hush feel. He ain't mean nothing. Hush. Don't worry, I'm gonna you get You gonna what, Dora? The only thing you gonna do is stop here at bed and rest yourself. If not, it gonna be hell and scissors inside here today. I ain't gonna sit down here and see this licorice long guts hog take advantage of you, a sick woman and my sister to be size. Hey, Willie Royce ain't come to die yet. Look at Willie Royce! Look at, look at, look at! Get your sword so I'm moving it! Mr. Man, there, you drunk? That you could raise your hand at me? And Dora here? I would chop it the head off before you could sit now if. Hey! You must be really so coughing at your love. Lord, I beg you. Look, don't put my sister and my husband and put some love in the heart. Aye! Oh, Mama, Lord. Mama. Lord, have his mercy. He's stabbing in my head, getting worse. Quick, Gwenny, quick. The be a rum. Get the beer rum. Quick, sat the head for me. Take the rum. Lord, if it is thy will to take me home, I ain't going to fly in your face. But I beg you, ease the pain, Lord. Give me some relief. Yes, Lord. Give me some relief. Quick, Lord. Help you. Put some, just bring your heart, but heal the body of this my boy. Please, Lord. Help me. I know he's... Thank oh, you, Grains. It's a blessing that you're here to help me when I'm sick. You oh, just Lord, take it easy, you. Dora. Poor this Dora. blood pressure now the joke, you know. It does attack you without warning. Hush, feel what do you? You look very worried. You know, so she ain't plain she's sick now, you old hard-hearted dog. You know, fried in the armpit, made it got dead off by your hand, eh? But don't worry, the Lord look after his own. Come, Dora, smell this. Good Dora, how, 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 how do you stab me in the head? Girl, you're like, you're, you're really feeling so hot for true, yeah? But you know he was only making a little joke just now. <laughs> you know, Dora, that I really didn't expect you to get something for me to eat. I'm going to help myself, girl. You, you take it easy, see? <laughs> There. I feel you really a hand of shame. Let me go and get the little ginger tea for you, Dora. I think some boiling water in the flask already. Dora, don't mind Gwenny. You really think I isn't got any feelings for you? Dora, Dora, you know me and you does make me little jokes. You you want me to get in the doctor, Dora? Or you think the stabbing in your head going past? It going past. The little ginger tea Gwenny making for me going help me. But hush. Why it is you and Gwenny does live like cat and dog all the time, so 
You think I feel good knowing I is your wife and Granny's sister to see the two women getting on so? Man, Dora, I ain't got nothing against you, sister. But she's a hard, hard one to live in the same house, man. I won't fool you. I just tried, Dora, to treat me like a human, but she, she, that woman, I'm sure she's your sister, Dora. But that woman is an on coof or so warrior, man. Granny and a thing else but Dallas bit. Hush, Phil. You know Granny does do me nothing when she talking that she way, hush. After all, all of we got be false. I tired with the bruising and the hollering between two of one. I believe that is what got my pressure up. When I tell you I'm tired, I'm tired. Look at the ginger tea, Dora. Sip it. It hot. Thank you, Granny. This should settle the stomach. Glad I could help you, Dora. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm as only a pity your husband can't learn to help himself and others. Make yourself useful in emergency. Or oh, hush I ain't hushing. I ain't hushing at all. Cause when a Belgian men think one are born in this world to do one thing. Nobody won't think one I got hands to. Look a woman would do you know. Why the hell you Because do as you a woman love the truth. I ain't care who want to say about the men's from away. The news fell in the kitchen and the door wait till the wife sitting out to help themselves. The Belgian men spoiled as the trouble. You would still like to get warned or spoil or not. Ha ha ha. Wanna what? Not me so. I do all out to turn myself in a servant for any stiff man. And I want to spend the time at Glendary for wounded with intent. So I prefer to stop just where he is. And I had to beg nobody for nothing. Cause in I as an independent woman. Nobody. Don't no rice, Granny Rice. You don't be tired saying so. You as an independent woman, and I as a man could help myself when the wife sex so what? And what the hell you don't get it till in the kitchen then? Cause Dora can't lift she little finger today, and the man that waiting for Granny Rice to prepare something for you to eat, be drinks for high, win pies and air cutters. <laughs> How you feeling now? I like it all right now, Granny. The little rest I had this morning do my good. And I ain't care what nobody tell me, they ain't nothing like ginger tea. Girl, you're right. But look, uh, just because you feel a little better now, don't mean you must tell how feel you know. I never seen the kitchen till today. Deck service where you could get it, I tell you. <laughs> Granny, you're too wicked. <laughs> what is he supposed to be cooking, don't it? I sure, child. I see he come back from the shop with a tin mar over his stew. I suppose the over is too easy to cook. Shove it round for a bath for five minutes and it done. Hushfield is a lazy soul, so I'm making a spore. At least he trying, though, Granny. Trying what? I mean, it's only them frothy people up in England. I see does eat all them tin things instead of proper food. Them does put more lunch and meat in our stew in the guts. I mean, it's a wonder so much of them does end up with ulcers. <laughs> But I ain't no hush for you spend any time in England that he catch the habit. Dora, I bet you no matter how sick he was, if you was so drunk as to empty little mash up meat out of a tin and some peas and carrots from another one to put in front of hush for he would have put some good laws in your skin. But Gwenny, you can't be too hard on hush. After all, we bear your men's in a custom fine book in the kitchen, so they can't do a thing else but empty one or two tins when they find themselves in a tight spot. I'm glad to see Hush had the heart to see after getting something for me to eat. This is the first time you know, Granny. Give you a chance. Yo, a chance? Look, don't behave yourself, though. I mean, women's like you does really make these men's what we have believe they got ready make servants. I know I ain't encouraging not one of these good for nothing bread fruit swabbers in a foolishness. If they got hands to lift a fork to the mouth, they could cook and thing they said very well. Dora! Dora! Dora, look! See what your hussy looking after, good, good, good. Look, uh, your food ready. Thanks, Hush. Your little bit of could stop the hole in my stomach. Hey, would this plate look pretty enough? Carrots, and oh, a tin. God, black and beets. Oh, to the next thing. Oh, the hell, you. Piece of pumpkin. Left back from yesterday. <laughs> and some nasty looking Irish choke the last tin. Hush, feel as far as you're concerned, things can't done it. <laughs> Granny Rice, I ain't going to say nothing to you. I won't dignify you. You, you. you hear that big word? I won't dignify you with an answer. Dora girl, how the food tastes. Don't mind your ignorant sister. I do up a quick something, you know, how so you could put something warm in your stomach. It tastes nice, Hush. This Irish too tasty enough. You put anything in it? <laughs> what are you laughing at now, no? Lord, why are you here? 
is a dead man. Little nasty mess out of a tin and door say, Tasty. Door, you's a good hypocrite, fit. You don't let I worry you, Granny Rice. You mind your own business. You're right, soul. But let me go ahead and prepare something for myself, do. <laughs> door, you ain't bound to study for your conscience. I'll go and get a little bit of stew pork. I'll cook it for myself. Well, I won't refuse stew pork, Granny. But this good to break the wind, you know, hush. What, you ain't eating? <laughs> no, no. Or my wife promised to left back some dumplings and steam fish for me. I going over there soon as I satisfies that you feeling good again, Dora. Don't mind what Gwenny said, I just look after you. You know that? Yes, Hush, I know. And I appreciate it's the little food, too. Look at all nearly gone already. That Irish chew was real good, though. Sometimes these things that come with a tin does be good for a change from the usual, you know. <laughs> yeah. What happened? Oh, no. <laughs> Lord, don't be a word. Quick, quick, quick. I'm going to get away. This kid is a dead. What do the old Skinner's mare now? No? I'll never see a woman always cacking and getting all so. <laughs> Dora, oh, I'm a quick. I'm going to fall. I don't want to laugh so much. I'm making this more. But when you want me stickling you so. The body of mine is she. Let me go and feed this puppy, do, Dora. Dora, you want anything else from the kitchen? No, hush. I'm all right. All right. supposed to be sharp. I want to laugh. But you know the Irish to use the taste of sweet just now? <laughs> you just yam off the tin of dog food hush feet up and buy me oh, 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 I want to drop. In the proof of the pudding, Marvel Man was Granny Rose. Alfred Pagner was Hushfield and Andrew Gollop played Dora too nice. Operators was Clarky and Brian, the writer Jeanette Lea Clark. Linda Waldron, producer, no none of you in the dark. 